Hi, welcome back to educator.com. Today's lesson will be rhythmic notation. Our lesson objectives are going to be an explanation of whole half and quarter notes, and we will also be creating rhythmic patterns out of these new note values that we learned today. So let's begin with whole notes. Um, the first thing you, that we need to really make sure of when we're writing whole notes is that our whole note, which looks like a circle, we remember that it's four beats. And that's really important to remember how many beats it's worth. When we are placing it in the staff, let's write a whole note on an A. Okay, we'll write the same thing in the bass clef. So as you remember from our previous lesson, when you have a note in the treble clef and a note in the bass clef and they're right above one another, this means they're played at the same time. So let's take our keyboard and let's play this whole note. As I said, it's worth four counts. So, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. It can be slow or fast, but when we want to indicate a note held for four counts, that's how we do it. Now, I just played three A octave whole notes, and I'll describe the word octave in a later lesson, but an octave is eight notes between one A and the next A above that on your keyboard. So I'm going to write out what I just played. I played this three times. So let's try to draw some whole notes on some lines. My A whole note was really, really in the space and your line whole note needs to be directly over the line so that the line goes right through the middle of your whole note. That's a little crooked. Let's try it again. Like that. So you, you can really tell really, really obviously where this whole note is supposed to be. It's great to practice writing ledger lines and practicing note reading. So let's talk about these notes that I just wrote down. As you remember, let's write our notes out, E, G, B, D, F, for the lines in the treble clef. And the spaces in the treble clef are face in the space, F, A, C, E. Bass clef is good, boys, do, fine, always. Spaces all, cows, eat, grass. So it's really good to write your names of your lines and and your space is out before you begin identifying notes, just to give yourself a little reminder. It's totally fine to have that there. If you want to be really strict with yourself, you can go ahead and memorize it and try to remember which note is which, just from saying the phrase in your head of every good boy does fine. Um, it depends on how qu quickly you want to learn this. Okay, so this is the top space in the treble clef. This is an E. This is the top space in the bass clef, not an E. This is a G, all cars eat gas. G, all cows eat grass. Okay, this is the top line on the bass clef. Good boys do fine always, A. This is the top line in the treble clef. Every good boy does fine. This is an F. Okay, here's a ledger line. We're going to count from our top line of the treble clef up to that ledger line note. This we know is an F, right? So then we go G is the space above F. And A is the line above the G space. So this is an A. Good boys do, D. Okay, here's a ledger line note below the bass clef staff. So let's go down. The bottom line of the bass clef is G. The letter before G is F. The letter before F is E. The letter before E is D. The letter before D is C. This is a C. So just counting backwards and forwards in our musical alphabet will help us identify notes really quickly. So there's our whole note.